what is up my dudes it's Eden here welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here I'm a junior that's studying abroad in Granada Spain this semester and right now I am about to take a weekend trip to Morocco so we are taking a blah blah car to Malaga and then from Malaga we are taking a ferry to Morocco which is so crazy Woo! I just can't believe that I'm about to see Africa for the first time. With the coronavirus, I don't even know what's gonna be like our last time potentially for things. So it's really just making me appreciate things like never before. True boy. Eden has her passport this time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live. We're going live! At right there, what's behind us? We got the Strait of Gibraltar right here behind us. Woo! That is Gibraltar over there. And where are we going, ladies? We are going Morocco. to Morocco! Hello, do you want to say hello? Vlog and vlog. I say muy viento. Why? The first thing I would mention about our trip to Morocco was that for safety reasons, we had to do it through a travel company. We weren't really obsessed with the quality of food, hotels, or organization from the company, and so for that reason, I'm going to be very forthright in mixing positive and negative in this video. Once we got off the ferry, we spent a few hours at the Moroccan border showing our passports and doing the border tings. Then we spent a few hours driving to our hotel, which was near Asila. To be honest, I noticed some bugs and dirty spots in this hotel, but the trip altogether was only 200 euros, and we did at least get to choose our roommates. So we're having a typical Moroccan breakfast, which includes toast with olive oil, white cheese, and a green tea. Our first stop of day two was Asila, a city that was historical, old, and dirty. I'm not going to idealize it, aside from the couple of cute photo op spots, this city didn't really blow us away. I'm in me mom's wagon. Boom, boom. <laughs> Just got some Moroccan change. And then we spent a while on the bus again to reach a nearby beach for our camel ride, which definitely felt like it involved some questionable animal cruelty, but it was a cool Instagram pic, so... Live, laugh, love. To the beach, beach, let's go get away. <laughs> Any comments? Are we vlogging live here? Yes, Can I just are. make a comment here? Oh, Look so at really these good. waves here. This is not your what this is, is like an ocean wave, but look at those. Those are the type of thing you go like 20 feet out there, you might not come back in. You're not coming back. You might not. Enough. Okay, so I just got a couple of snacks at this little kiosk right here, and I asked him what was popular for Morocco, and he said this Merendina snack and these dates. I'm so excited. An important thing to keep in mind about this trip was that probably about 60% of our time was spent in a bus just driving all over Morocco. It was definitely cool seeing the cities, but we wish that the company would have been a little more upfront about the amount of time that would be spent driving. Anyway, before Chef Chowan, we stopped for a quick snack. They have kebab flavored chips. I'm getting cheese and spices. This one's really then around 4.30, we finally arrived for lunch. Needless to say, I was a little infuriated at this point because I was so hungry, but again, we kind of bit our lip and bared through it for the sake of the experience. Lunch was a pretty nasty buffet, so I didn't even end up recording it. I think I was a little disillusioned at this point. Anyway, we shortly got happy again because we were in the beautiful blue city of Chef Chowan. I have to be honest that I was a little bit ignorant before coming into this trip. I was almost completely unaware that Morocco would be an almost third world country. But once I came to terms with the fact that this trip wasn't going to be anything like what I had experienced before, I enjoyed it a lot more. The bargaining culture and little markets around every corner were by far my favorite part. Like I said, once I let go of my expectations, I was able to see that the city was beautiful, just not in a way I was familiar with at all. I'm gonna be on Journey, I'm gonna be on Journey of Eden. <laughs> like and subscribe if you like it when you see it's a Journey to Eden. Yes! Um, my favorite channel. Oh my gosh! <laughs> God, that's so sweet! 
Our tour guide was featured on Lonely Planet. Yes. yes. <laughs> and say hello for Kentucky. Hello from hello. Kentucky. Oh, Hi. so cute. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Our tour guide in Chef Chowan was by far the best part of this city. If you can't tell by his precious little stature and voice, he just made it fun and lighthearted seeing the city. Shortly after the tour, I ran into a little bit of a problem. Not videographed, but I made the hole in the ground work. Pooping in a hole was definitely one of the craziest parts of my Morocco experience, but it made me realize that I can do anything I have to do in life. And that in a lot of ways, we're limited by how society tells us that we have to live. That night, we were free to explore shops and things in the area on our own. We went ham, finding blankets, bracelets, leather goods, soaps, any Moroccan things your heart can imagine. We also came across this cool weaver. and he gave us the full Moroccan rug shop experience. Que bonito! Nos encanta! Yes? I got Natia again. This is hotel number two. We're in Medik. Wow, it's so much nicer than yesterday. But oh, where's the third one? Oh, okay. One person gets the master. Here's the view in here. Liking this hotel a lot better. But it's 11 o'clock and we're about to eat dinner. So that's not really fun. I need to go get my bike. So are we going to the beach tonight? We're going to the beach, Let's go beach. beach. Let's, Let's go get away. away. Say, say what, what they're gonna, gonna say. say. <laughs> okay, so everyone, we're in Tetuan <laughs> right now, Morocco, Marowakos. Careful there. And I'm leaning against the edge. We are at a hotel right now. We won't say which one. We don't want to become famous. No. We're about to head down and have some drinks and have some food, have some Bud Lights. Some Bud Lights. Maybe. Maybe. Coronas. <laughs> Coronas. Anything to add? All right, let's go. I'm tired. Let's go, guys. He's tired. Why? Come on. I'm also, I'm also tired. After our first actually good dinner, we went to a club right by the hotel to hang out. It was so dead, but this was my favorite moment of the whole trip, maybe of my whole study abroad. Shortly after this clip, we started dancing like absolute crazy people, and the few people that were in there were looking at us like we were insane. Day three, give it up for day three. It is Sunday right now. I'm wearing this little green top from H&M, same pants, same shoes, not the same socks. We tore it up in the discotheca last night. I guess it here it's not actually really a discotheca. More of a, I really don't know what you'd call it, but we went to the club, we danced our little hearts out. We didn't even end up having any bebidas, we just had that good energy all night. I am so excited for day three. We're going to a argan oil place today. I think we're going to Tangier, and that's literally all I remember. So I'll update as the day goes on. Then it was back in the bus again to head to Tetuan, a city known for spiritual awakening and nicknamed the White Dove. It was absolutely stunning. In the distance here, you can see the city's mosque. Again, in Tetuan, you see the bargaining culture, which was one of the biggest things that surprised me and blew me away about Morocco. In America, if something is $3, it's $3. Here, you tell them what you think their item is worth and you guys bargain from there. It's interesting and exciting, and it's so completely different from anything I've experienced before. We got mint teas and we only paid 30 durham, which is the equivalent of 30 cents. But they're getting attacked by bees. Any comment? I'm scared. Mine's not as getting as much attacked because I didn't get sugar in it. No way. 
But the ones that have sugar are getting heavily attacked. Oh. This final day in Tetuan was when I really understood the gravity of the difference between our cultures. It wasn't a coincidence, it wasn't just the city. The way that they lived and operated here in Morocco was completely night and day from what I had experienced in America. It was totally exotic, beautiful, and altogether different from anything I'd ever seen before. And I was so grateful to see it, taste it, and experience it. Then it was time for our final lunch together before heading back to Spain. It was held in a cool palace-style restaurant that also included a little show. It was definitely the best meal we had all weekend. Okay, the trip's over. We're going back to Granada. <laughs> 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 <laughs>